All right. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome in on a this fine Monday. Today we're beginning a new game down in Bermuda. My name is LJ Bray. My pronouns are they, them. And I am, of course, the most humble streamer on Twitch. Uh, I don't really know anything about this game. Let's just get right into it. How's everybody doing today? Odd years later. Huh? Who's there? Oh, hello there. I'm glad you're here. I could do with some help. What are we? We like some giant god floating down from above, and I guess he's been alone for 30 years, so he's not questioning any of this. I've been trying to work this out for years. Quite puzzling. Maybe you could solve it. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be a puzzle game. Drag the tasks and slide them along the path. Okay, day. Okay, well that goes there. Then it looks like this goes there. Uh, then you go in there. How does it take him 30 years to figure this stuff out? Woohoo! You did it! Hey, Leonic! <laughs> Dude's been standing, staring at Rock 24-7 for years. Free him. Yes, exactly. Like, what the hell is going on here? I, I honestly thought we would be, you know, dealing with the immediate aftermath of this crash, not waiting 30 years before the game began. It's a GameCube? Ooh, what's that? And left click, using left click and drag, okay. All right, can we zoom out? Get him. Hang on, can I do anything with him? No, nope. he's just gonna keep pointing. Oh, and I can rotate with right click. I'm learning things faster. Oh, okay, hang on, let's do this. There's our plane. Remarkable that it's just managed to sit on the beach. I mean, I assume that's our plane. Just managed to sit on the beach and hasn't been like, what's that? Hello? What are you? Okay, that went to this thing. Okay. I'll bear that in mind. Let's, uh, let's focus on the big giant GameCube that popped out of the ground. I think that's what the game wants us to do. Uh, okay. Switch. Hey, there's something back here. Okay, now it's teaching me how to rotate. And we just got the Achievement Explorer. Okay, more switches and buttons. So, Leonic, how's your, how's your uh, weekend been? How's your Monday going? Mm, this is relatively simple so far. Oh, we want to make a triangle shape? You didn't realize it was uh, December until a few minutes ago? You're so bad at time? Oh. Oh dear. Uh, hang on. I went the wrong way. Oh. I did it again. I can't. Okay. One way only. There we go. You're so bad at time. Well, no, I mean, you know, if you don't have a reason to look at the calendar every day, I can understand losing track of that. I could be like that at times. Ooh, is that a turtle? It is. Giant Bermudan turtle. Tortoise, maybe. Doesn't look like it's equipped for swimming. We're just gonna stand there? It's been so long since I've seen someone. Hi, I'm... I'm Milton. Milton, is it? I'm Milton. I'm Herman. I went in there for a nap and locked myself in. Bah! 
So you've been there for a while? Oh, yes. About 563 years, if I had to guess. <laughs> How about you? Were you here all this time? It's nice to finally meet someone. Dude's lost his goddamn mind. 30 years alone on an island, and now he thinks turtles can talk to him. I crash landed on this island quite some time ago. I think. It's all a bit hazy. Yeah, very specific guess on the turtle's part. Mind you, the turtle's also wearing glasses, so I guess this is a pretty smart turtle if it managed to, uh, like, invent glasses by itself alone on an island some 500 years ago. Or was it 300 years? Can you help me escape? I need to get back home. Of course. It's the least I can do after you rescued me. Here, take this orb to get you started. I don't know why I picked such an annoying voice for the turtle. There it goes. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to click on it. Ooh, some kind of stargate? Orb gates harbor special power. They allow you to travel between islands. You can go through whenever you like. But you need to find all orbs before the next island is revealed. One more orb to find. Try that star monument over there. They usually contain something helpful. Ah, that's what we were collecting that sparkly for. Um, okay, another sparkly. How many do we need? Not gonna give us any information? Okay, we need... A few missing by the looks. They must be around here somewhere. Uh, okay. Oh, I see one inside our plane. Can we around on anything? No, no descriptions. Okay. Just gotta keep on looking. Oh, there's a little... There's something going on under there. How do we get in there? Reminds you of Donut Country. Yeah, it's got that really simple bright colors kind of thing going on. Brilliant! Now you're getting the hang of this. I'm... Oh, I'm curious about why there's a little tunnel there. Can I get a better angle on it? Okay, and there's one in there. You found a star. Oh, you found a star map. And what a map it is. Um. Oh, there we go. This will help find those pesky stars. Okay. Uh, well, there's... Yeah, they're right there. I could already see them. I didn't need the map. There's one there. I think that's what I was trying to click on. One there. Is that all of them? Let's just have another little look around the island before. Oh, there's one back there. The music just started up. Does that mean it was all of them? Okay, so I'm gonna lock back there. Okay. Nothing going on in Turtle's Cave? Oh, by the way, I, um, I've also been, uh, working on, um, adding some sound commands, and I've got a, a bot running and stuff now, so I'm beginning to look a little bit more like a real streamer. Uh, let's see. Okay, what were we doing? Well, we're clicking this button here. There's the final orb. Uh, achievement orb collector. That's it. You found all of the orbs. Good luck on your journey and come back anytime. Well, I hope we don't see you too much because I gave you a very annoying voice. Oh, and a word of warning. Most creatures in the Bermuda. Bermuda? Bermuda aren't as friendly as me. Thank you so much for all the help. I won't forget. Won't forget what? Forget him? Or just forget in general? Alright, let's roll. Let's 
Secret base island. Okay, we can go. Okay, so it's linear like that. Okay. We got seven triangles, two locks, one pitcher, one key, and one map. Looks like. Uh, how do I? Oh, I guess it's the play button. Let's find some orbs. Oh, away he goes. Oh. Seeing a lot of stuff going on under water. Uh, you. Uh, what is this place? Uh, well, it looks like a lighthouse. Oh, we got some interesting kind of machinery going on down here. Is that just for fun? This, oh, what is it? A uh, saltfish? Ooh, a buffer fish. Oh, and there's a sparkling underneath it. Ooh, and that opens up. This is just a little fun kind of exercise of looking on things, really. I thought it would be more puzzle based, but at the moment we're just having a fun little time wandering around clicking on things. Okay, so we got some kind of underwater domes going on over here. There's a sparkle. Ugh. Oh, there's another one. I'm not even sure where the thing we're supposed to be powering up is. Oh, we can spin these? Interesting. Oh boy, finally. Uh, hang on, let me, let me, let me take that from the top. Oh boy, someone's finally here. Hello, I'm David. I've been trapped in this abandoned lab for so long. The scientists created an out-of-control sea monster and then just left me here, unable to see outside. Would you be so kind as to help me open some more windows? Here, I'll help you get started. Is that it? You just, you just pop some buttons out. Uh, do I click on any of this? Okay. Okay, another trial and error thing. We're getting used to this from uh, Agent A. Brilliant. This view is wonderful. Please keep opening more windows for me. But be careful. The sea monster is around here somewhere. Okay. What's going on here? over the other side as well. I mean, it's fun the way everything kind of unfolds and you just press more buttons. But it's not exactly puzzling. Oh, and this thing came up here. Why would it be so complicated? Ooh, now this is interesting. Why are we trying to release what looks like very poisonous stuff? Or is that fish food? Could that... And the music just suddenly starts up again. Okay. Hmm. Have we seen anything? that could give us a hint to the clue. Not really, not yet. Whoop, and I've clicked off the game. Now we're back. <laughs> Attracting sea monster, happy music. Wait, what's, what's, what's this guy doing over here? Why have you wandered out of your, uh, your hiding spot? I'm trying to talk to the, uh, oh, hang on, 
Did it open up there? Oh, hello. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll wander away from that for just a bit, because I'm not sure that we know code just yet. Is there something in the environment here? Like, there's this triangle thing there. Could that be anything? It doesn't really look like much. Like, we have triangles here, but I don't think the answer is to make everything triangles, right? No, it's not. Okay, so let's have a look-see over at this side of the island. Here we go, there's a button here. Oh, what's that star doing? Oh, another puffer fish? Is there anything under you? No, you're just there for decoration? Fair enough. Uh, okay, push that. No. No? Put you down first. Or do we try... We have to do everything all at once. Oh, there we go. There's three of them. Oh, I see. We were, we were like pushing them through the machinery, I think, and then this final one ejects them. Okay. Okay, I get it. Uh, do we do anything more with that? And seeing as that wheel was spinning, can we spin these wheels up here? No. Okay. What's going on over here? We can't get in there. Oh, ooh. there's an island. Oh, sea mines. You. Grab you. Hey, Soupy Doorman. Good to see you. Funny you've been looking at this game. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting game. It's um, it's fun. It's cute. Uh, not as puzzling as I was expecting, but you know, it's still early days yet. Anyway, Soupy, how's uh, how's your weekend been? How's your Monday going? I don't do anything with these sea mines. Not yet, at least. Oh, little sparkle down there. More of these triangles and some weird green lines. Oh, it's going fine? Well, that's good to hear. Why is there... No? What's this? Hello. I see you in there. One reason you were looking at it uh, was... Oh, you just... Comp Completed Agent A. Soupy, were you the one who recommended Agent A to me? Because for some reason, in my mind, I got got it mixed up with Bruxes because uh, I guess because I was I watched the VOD back when I um, but it was before I was reading out every comment. Yeah, okay. So it was you who um did all the recommend. There we go. Thank you for that recommendation because I started playing it last Wednesday and uh, I was quite enjoying my time with it. Oh, this is a photo. Who? My photo from the first day I met Agnes at flight school. Ooh. Oh, and there's the map. Oh, another star map coming up. That's... Okay, yes, great. I'm glad that we got a star map, but I don't really want to spend too much time looking at it. I'm enjoying exploring first. Like, it's great that the star maps are there for when you're tired of... wandering around, but... Ooh, a key. A yellow key. We should be able to open all yellow locks now. More of these triangle things? Oh, a lost relic. Legend has it they were lost centuries ago by a gang of pirates. Yeah, I could definitely see this being a good game for, um... Well, I don't know how old your niece is. Um, but... This would definitely be a good one whoop, for uh, children. It's a, there's a lot of just exploring. Your niece was hoping they would make an Agent B game, but maybe you should grab this. Yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely say so. It's definitely one that um, good for younger children. There hasn't been too many puzzles in it so far. It's mostly just clicking on things to see what happens next. A lot of exploring the environments. Okay, there's just a bubble. She didn't think this looked dark enough, though. Well, so far we've been trapped on an island alone by ourselves for 30 years, and then we met a 
giant talking turtle. So, like, and that's just like in the first, you know, five minutes of the game. So I don't know how dark that is, but... I don't know, this was some pretty horrifying implications to just... And now apparently we knew someone called Agnes, and like... I don't know that she's going to still be around after 30 years. <laughs> but you know, maybe that's me reading into this a bit much. Then again, I don't know how, how interested your niece would be uh, playing like with the protagonist as an old man, so that can also factor into things. Another sparkle. A treasure chest down there. We already opened that one, or is it just empty? Can we close these again? No, we can't. Oh, we can. Maybe we should open up everything. Hello, what's this? Do you also like Detective Frog? Oh, well. I mean, it's got the brightness of uh, Detective Frog. It. Doesn't, it hasn't quite proven itself to have like the same witty dialogue per se, but um, it's definitely got that same kind of a uh, fun, goofy style. What did Leonica compare it to before? You, you reminded you of Donut Country, yeah. Okay, how do we do this? Is there anything we can do with this just yet? Maybe not. Okay. Let's open up all the little doors. See if that does anything. Was that? Oh, and then the music suddenly starts back up again. That's a, that's a bit strange. I don't understand why that happens. Okay. So. Still no idea as to what we're doing. Oh, oh are we going back? Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. Hang on. We, um, I think I saw uh, a lock somewhere over here. Okay, I thought maybe the old guy would jump out, but... Oh, it's a blue lock. Okay, we only have a yellow key so far. Oh, he's fishing. Ah, the serenity. So there is something to go back for if we need it. Hang on, let's see if the turtle has... No, he's just sleeping. And I'm still curious about this little island under there. A uh, little tunnel, rather. Okay, so we got like a asterisk there. They might just be starfish, but I'm reading as asterisks. Can't do anything with these. Oh, didn't even notice there was a thingy down there. We need to get this open. Where have we seen a code? Hmm, circle. Let's try circle. Triangle. Diamond. Oh yeah? yeah. the center point a little off though when it comes to moving the camera around okay where's the uh are there any other yellow locks we could do Okay, let's have a look-see here. I'm missing like four of them. Okay, time to uh, consult our star map. Oh boy, that uh, that could do with some uh, tweaking that. Okay, 
Okay, two of them are in that computer. There's the orb down there. I wonder if looking at it from above, if there's some kind of clue to the... the... Oh, and oh, also in that crate. That's what we're... Oh, sorry. That's what we're looking for. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh, let's refocus on that crate. There's another one of them weird line things. What do they mean? Are they just decoration, or are they just the clue? Hang on, what if I... Can I get someone to cut it? Like if I... There's that swordfish over there. Can I click on it multiple times? No. Can't rotate that anymore. I'm gonna big circle there. Don't click on any of this stuff. Hmm. Curious. Can be already stumped. Did all that. Nothing more to do there. Hmm. <laughs> can't go up, can't go down. I feel like it, it's... <laughs> can't be that complicated because we haven't had that many complicated puzzles, but I'm missing something here. This is it like square, circle, square, maybe? down here. What does this mean? Uh, okay. Pull that down. Okay. So, looks like circle at the top. Looking at this. Diamond, diamond, and then square. Okay, there we go. Yay, we've released this toxic sludge. Or possibly sea monster food. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, that was just the first orb. Oh no, the sea monster is back. There we go. Yeah. Okay, that's definitely a sea monster. Okay. That was some interesting moving. Ah! Phew, it's gone. That was a close one. Ooh, but this panel's come loose. Now let's stop messing around with this computer's inside. Um, what are we doing here? Just click. Three sixty degree views. This is incredible. Woo who one more window to go. I don't know why I give every character we meet such an annoying voices. Okay. Ah, okay, so we're drawing things. Okay, well that looks nice. Actually, this looks better. Right. Okay. How do I? I 
mean, that feels right, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, I missed that relic over there. Okay, well, there's a couple of uh, triangular rocks around that we've seen. Okay. Don't really tell me anything. I think there was one over here. Oh, and I've clicked off the game again. Hmm. Oh, he's in the boat. Hello. What are you doing there? Oh, we're taking it to the, uh, we're taking it to the swordfish. There we go. Alright, I think that's all of them. I saw there are some sy some symbols hidden around here. Where were they again? Ah, okay. So now that's where those symbols come in. Uh, okay. What kind of symbols do we have? Uh, yeah, that looks like that one on that triangle. And there was another triangle with a similar symbol. So, where were we? We got, okay, a line, like a T-shape on its side with a dot. Yeah, that's the one. And what else was there? There was another one, wasn't there? I'm certain of it. Is it over on this island, I feel like? Oh, there it is. So it's like a... It's like an, a long L with a dot in it, with a underlined. seen it. And then a long L. Oh, that's the one. So then maybe, oh, and here. Okay, right there on the side of the thing. Okay. So it's line, line, dot, dot. Line, dot, dot. No? Okay, so maybe this one's wrong. Okay, that's line, line, dot, dot. Okay, anything else on land we may have missed? Maybe this shape over here? Like this. Go to like a lightning bolt and a, uh, a ziggy zag. There we are. And an orb. Okay, that's two. Uh, what's next? What's the old man doing? What did the computer want? He, he, he last said that there was one more window to go. I haven't seen... Is the final window. Let's be this one over here. How do we get you started?
Yeah, we want the second key. Where is the second key kept? Something going on in there. Stairs. I want to plug something into that. I think we can do on the outside, is there? Oh, there's that. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so that, if that's what the design was, then we still haven't figured out what this thing does, have we? Switch things back and forth. Why? What was that? Am I opening and closing? Oh, it's this trap door. Talk to me, computer. I don't understand. Got letters, buttons, nothing I can touch. Can we unplug any of these mines or? Oh, that's not doable. What about that sea monster? We call him back somehow. Any of these buttons doable still? No. no sliders. There's nothing else hidden around there. Hmm. So we're looking for purples, I think. For the next latch, I think. I'm just going to take a little bit of a quick bake while I go get myself a, a, another drink. Um, so I'll be right back in just a real quick second. Okay, and we're back. Like I said, we're going to be a real quick second. Oh, but we can still move these? Why? That, uh, hmm. Does that mean anything? I don't think it does. But it's hard to say. Well, I'm open to suggestions if anybody's got one. Because I am stuck. Should we try heading? You get that chest beside the two rocks. There were two chests. There we go. Chest hidden back here. There's a chest hidden over here. What's that secret passageway there? Is that anything? I might have already gotten something. There we go. Two chests there. Let's go through it all one by one. Hang on. I, I think there's more than two chests though, so... Let's just carefully comb this map. Yep, there's another chest there by the mines. It's frustrating when it gets to this, because again, like I said, it's not like it's a puzzle, it's just like, I'm looking for things. And that would be fine if it, w if it was just like a hidden image picture, but uh, at the same time, it's also kind of annoying having to drag. Hang on, maybe let's try uh, adjusting some of the uh, settings first. Also, great, uh, great d uh, menu design here. You turn the sounds on and off, and the music on and off, but I can't control how loud they are. Uh, but controls, um, mouse, why not have zoom sensitivity, uh, make that super sensitive, that will be helpful. So just don't be blind game, yes, exactly. Ah, there we go, that, that feels a bit nicer. I'm not scrolling like mad every time I want to zoom in around. Uh, 
that line is going there. Where did the old man go? Milton, I think his name was. I've lost all track of him. Milton! Back to staring at rocks, probably, yes, for 30 years. I mean, I can tell that I want to do something here, but... What exactly? Is this also going on over here? Something to do with the lighthouse, maybe? Have we not fully explored the lighthouse? We checked that little arc over there. Hey, Big Hattie! Yeah, unfortunately, this game isn't that cringe. It's mostly just, a uh, Looking for things. Just don't be blind, as Leonite put it. Yes, it is. It's a video. Oh, okay, well, fair enough. Yes. If that's your uh, requirements for cringe, then yes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is It feels like something should plug in there. But, like... What? What can I drag over there? Anything? But yeah, it does look like there's something to do with this port, but... Video games and computer entertainment are gross. Fair enough. Games of a nerd. <laughs> yes. We've got these landmines. I want to do something with the landmines, but maybe that's got something to do with, uh... Hang on, I keep calling them landmines, but they're quite clearly, uh, sea mines. Puffer fish party. I just got an achievement, I guess, for clicking on the puffer fish so many times. What? Sawfish. And we have a yellow key. But that unlocked one door, and that was it. A green key. But we don't have one. Or rather, we have a green keyhole. Imagining things is pretty nerdy as well. <laughs> I'm good, Hattie. How's your weekend been? How's your Monday going? Oh, we figured out the mystery. Uh, we reckon it was Soupy Doorman who recommended uh, Agent A to me. Not Bruxis. Poor Bruxis was getting the blame. But uh, yeah, I was really enjoying it, so I'm glad that you did recommend it to me. Uh, we'll be playing it again uh, on Wednesday. Hopefully finishing it off. <laughs> Let's try heading back, I guess. Hang on, maybe we should check the map one last time. Okay, we've got a yellow key and that's it. There's a few circular thing, uh, things around the map that look like vents or something, but I don't know if you can do anything with them. Like on floors and rocks. Today's been alright? You went to the library to check out what services they offer? Oh yeah. Um, oh, why is this not? I have, I have pushed up the sensitivity, but it doesn't change anything on this. Okay. Okay, looking for glowies. Let's just... That's nice. Because we've clicked on... Yeah, we clicked like these vent things a couple times. You had to click on them a couple times and then they would just puff out a uh, sparkly. Uh, you can print shirts and posters and do 3D prints and pins and digitalize uh, analog media. That's pretty fucking cool. Super cheap. Yeah, that's awesome. I do love a good library, although I haven't been to my one uh, in, in my local town since I moved here. I've only been once, and that was just to get my library card, basically. Although it was in the middle of the pandemic, so that does explain why, you know, I wasn't going out regularly. Hmm. Looking on the sea mines doesn't do anything. We've got those weird triangles. I mean, Leonic's definitely onto something with, like, we've got to connect something in there. Because, like, this is the screen. This is, like, the final screen we need to open, right? But there's no way to interact with it. That looks, like, that looks so promising as a thing. Well, the other big thing that we haven't figured out is this. Whoop, not that. 
not clicking off the game. That's not that's something I figured out many years ago. We can spin these things around. I have no idea why. Is it just interactable for no real reason? Does it serve a purpose? Tomorrow is Independence Day here, so we get the day off, or rather the kids do. But you don't have to work, uh, wake up early to drag them out of bed walk them to the bus, so you win anyway. Uh, you think I don't have it in the right arrangement? Because this, look, this looks right to me, like this triangular thing. Oh. Oh, I had to do it again. I flick it once to rearrange it, then flick it again to... Okay, well that was... That's the first time we've had to flick a switch twice. Thank you. I was going a little crazy in there with no view. <sighs> Please take this shiny orb as a thank you gift. I mean, that was just weird. Like, up until this point, we never had to, like, flick something back again. It was just click, and then something happens, and then you click on the next thing. Okay, so that's just the port where that comes out. Oh dear, the creature is back and madder than ever. Please, I need your help. Use this cannon to lure it towards the underwater mines. <laughs> a cannon? Okay. This computer's been packing heat. Oh, okay. So we... Press the button. Okay, so yeah, it's full of, like, monster food. Ah, okay. Then we make some adjustments over here. Let's see. Okay, it looks like we want to a little bit more that way. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah! Like that. Okay. Then we want to get a bit more this way. And bring that down a little bit, I think. Mm, that doesn't look right. Back up a bit more. Calling Peter? Fair enough. Okay, looks like we got like three settings. That yeah, looks nice. Yeah. What is this thing? It's like a shrimp. Caterpillar centipede. Not like horns, like some kind of insect. Not horns, like mandibles. Uh, that might be too high. Should be a little lower. No, that doesn't look good. It's an Alaskan bullworm. Really? Or did you just make that up? Because that would be very impressive if you identified it immediately. Oh, okay, we gotta zoom out again when it does that. Uh huh. Oh, and it's dead. Wow, that was amazing! You saved me again. Now I can enjoy my underwater view in peace. It's a SpongeBob reference, you believe? Ah. How do you coming in with the... With all the hot references that the kids understand. Thank you and good luck on your journey. Glorious day, isn't it? Just splendid. All right. <laughs> Incidentally, Horny Caterpillar is what I call my... <laughs> Secret agent? Why did we get an achievement called Secret Agent? Not more Secret Agents. Right, next island. Forest Island. All right. Whoa, what's going on up there? What's going on here? Help, help. It's some weird, creepy forest goblin. I'm not sure I really want to help looking at that thing. Oh, his arms are out. Oh, there we go. 
Holy shit, what the fuck is this thing? What are you doing? What are you jumping around pointing for? I saved you? What are you pointing at? What do you want from me? Oh, there's more of you. I love how that stage was, these puzzles seem really simple, followed by 40 minutes of squinting at the floor. Yeah, they're, they're really simple if you know what to do, like... Mind you, they're, they're clicking the symbols. Our puzzle wasn't... would have been difficult. Okay, you want more of me? More of your goddamn little friends? I don't know, I don't like that we're being... Hamilton's being outnumbered by these green creatures. Here we go. Wow, thank you, stranger. You saved us. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're demons. You hear all that screeching? That's awful. Welcome to Forest Island. Things are usually very peaceful around here. That was until that horrible creature showed up. Be safe. Oh, and here's an orb to help you on your way. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, and they just slammed the door in Hamilton's face. I'm calling him Hamilton. His name's Milton. Not Hamilton. Although I suppose Milton is a short form of Hamilton. Isn't it? Oh, we gotta get five orbs this time. Okay, let's zoom out. He looks like a Hamilton. Ham Milton. There's bound to be some more orbs around here. Okay, so it looks like we're dealing with some kind of spider creature, judging by the way those guys were webbed up. So what's going on here? We're... We've got like waterfalls falling into the middle of an island. It's very peculiar. Ooh, photograph. Or is it, no, it's a map. Okay, well we found the star map already. But we won't look at that just yet, because half the fun is finding the lowies ourselves. Okay, let's start checking these huts. Nothing in there. Way in there. You're not sure if you like this visual style? Uh, it, it's got its own charm. It's not... I do wish there was a little bit more freedom in uh, moving around it and stuff. The set kind of camera angle kind of annoys me. Oh, hello. What are you doing down there? I'm glad you're here. The power's gone out on Forest Island. Do you think you can help me turn it back on? I think this lever does something. What do you mean you think? At least one of you should know how the power works here around here. Ah, there we go. This stage looks like Maple Story 2 ad. Uh, map. If uh, MS2 wasn't blocky. Gosh, Maple Story. That was um. That's that uh browser game. Never really got into it, but I had friends who were really into it in high school. Don't know why. It didn't seem like the kind of game that high schoolers would play, but what do I know? Lift that up. Officer. Uh, oh, you guess it's the popular sort of style, and I get it, but it, to me it feels like corporate clip art. There definitely is like a a um, corporate kind of like nature to some of the uh, like low poly style, where it's just you know uh, store bought low poly characters. Uh, what are we doing now? That thing rotated. There's like a let me circle shape there. We doing this again. Oh no, this thing popped up. And we'll pull this out. Buttons on either side. Oh, and another one over here. Oh, we've got a time limit. There we are. Okay, lift this up. What does this thing do? And you are. Oh, lift you out. Whoop. Keep going. There's another here. 
Uh, no North American Maple Story uh, to shut down a year or two ago, though. Yeah. Okay. The sound effects sound like the type you design, though, so that is neat. Okay. See what I mean when it's just like these aren't puzzles; they're just pressing things. To see what happens. Okay, we've got code. And we've got like a color code over here as well. Okay. Okay, so we do. What's at the top? Green's at the top. Next is white. And yellow. And then black. There we go. Oh, and there's a glowy in there. Okay, now we do circle to the right, plus to the left, square to the right, and triangle to the left. Hey, and we got another light bulb. Oh, and that's what the electricity's for. Ah, amazing, the power is back on. I heard you're looking for orbs. Here, please take this for your help. Okay, I'll take it. Don't know why you had it. Like, is it sacred to your people or anything? Or you just kind of like it because it flows. Okay, so it feels like we've done this part of the island. We got another guy going down down here. What's he doing? Hmm, where did I leave that key? Okay, so you're missing. Oh, why is that moving? There? That important? You know, it looks like you're missing a red key. Spark the guy. You kind of feel like you've seen this exact same gameplay in at least 40 other games on Steam. Yeah, it does uh, feel kind of a dime a dozen. Especially ever since like Hidden Folks came out and like that really revitalized the kind of like hidden picture kind of thing where you just kind of click on things and stuff happens. Mind you, you know, this can go back to like as far back as like humongous entertainment days with like things like Putt Putt and Spy Fox where, you know, you just kind of click on things and things like happen a lot of the time and you're just like, okay, that was just a random thing. Oh yeah, uh, you think that's another problem you have with it? Not that it's bad, it's hard to, it's, but it's hard to tell one from another, yeah. Oh, we're missing a lot of sparkles. There's a lot to gather here. Oh, there's a sparkle. Over there. There's lots of shapes under the water there. Oh, I see, we gotta get these sheep in the right pens. there you startled me it's a duck the duck with a little aviation thing going on what, what's he doing hang on let me grab this stuff before i get distracted nothing you're not doing anything you just oh, oh. you just shut the door in our face well there you go just another random thing that just kind of happens no real reason I didn't mind this sort of art style in Untitled Goose Game, because uh, that one was pretty unique in other aspects. So you're, you're talking like about like kind of unshaded... Um, actually, yeah, that's just what it is. It's just unshaded, uh, low-poly kind of style. <laughs> that feeling when even a duck is uninterested in you. Yes, exactly. I mean, he had little aviation things, just like us, like little goggles and stuff. You'd think he'd... Oh, green key. Thank you. But we need a blue key before we head all the way back to Turtle Island. Ooh. Something's been dying or eating stuff down here. Okay, what's this doing? How do we get this water flowing? No idea. Need power going over there. Ooh, there's a photograph. Unshaded low poly, and it's always the same color. Yeah, it's gotta be very bright and vibrant. 
Otherwise, you know, everything just becomes a murky mess when you're doing unshaded stuff. You've got to have everything pop visually and have distinct outlines. Oh, it looks like Milton and Agnes got married. And there was our plane in the background. I've got to get back somehow. It's been 30 years, man. She may have remarried by now. You've almost certainly been declared legally dead. You disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle of all places. Not really a place people like come back from. Why is there a nail no, cover there? There's nothing to be sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. So what's going on with this stuff? Like this, this just looks like they've clipped, you know, a bush thing through a, a tree stump. Uh, kind of ugly looking. Uh, could have just ridden the turtle across the ocean back home. <laughs> yeah, although I'm not sure if that turtle can not. Uh, is really the swimming kind. It looked more like a tortoise with big stumpy feet. Ah, oh, here we go. Another one of these trial and error ones that we're so good at. Considering how complicated some of the puzzles are in Agent A, I was surprised how often trial and error was just like how you do, did some of the puzzles. Oh. Hmm? What's this? What do you mean, what's this? It didn't seem that complicated. A little hidden alcove. And it, it's weird also, like, I feel like such a child playing this because you gotta, just got to click on, like, literally everything to see if it does anything. So, you know, I'm just rapidly clicking on every surface. Just the way, like, you know. It just feels a bit random, I guess. Like, I can't guess what the game design is, might have intended to be clickable and what isn't. I think there's a good middle ground. What is going on with these holes? They look interesting. Got a sign there? And I'm seeing like the colors on these holes here. They, they seem like they could be important. Yeah, we've got a yellow over there. Green, purple, yellow. Hmm. Oh, what are you doing with that beat? Oh, don't do that. That's, why would you do that? I guess you've been alone by yourself for 30 years on an island, but why would you ever think that was a good idea? Oh, now look what you've done. You've broken the dam. You're gonna... You're going to kill all these people. You're gonna flood this entire island. There's puzzle games that are constant obtuse headaches, and then there's click randomly and see if something happens. What I don't like in a puzzle is when it's not clear what it wants me to do. Like, if it gives me clear, like, instructions, like, it's clear how things interact, even if that is going to be a complicated thing, and I can fiddle around with that, that's better than just not even knowing if I I'm looking at the right thing that is the puzzle, like, how to progress, you know? You forget, he forgot what bees are, he hasn't seen any in uh, 30 years, yeah. Okay, so that looks like a possibly good start, or maybe you could go like that. There we go. And an orb. And see, yeah, sometimes I just have to... You're more annoyed by a lack of... Uh, annoyed by a lack of wine. Yeah, that can also be... Oh, fucking Christ. I guess that's the monster. What the fuck is going on in this place? Ah! Um, Milton? Why? Quickly, direct the water here to zap the creature. Uh, okay. You say so, Milton. Okay, let's try this. Is 
Hmm. No, we're, we're doing something wrong now. I don't think we want to try. That's not gonna. We're not gonna loop back around on ourselves. Let's try doing it this way. Uh, ah, yes. I need to get into the chief's office to look for clues. Let me solve this maze puzzle that he has on his door, and connect the dot puzzles he has on his desk drawer, like normal people do. Yes, that can that can be annoying. I like I quite like the way um, Puzzle Agent kind of explained it, in that like the gnomes seem to be driving people crazy with puzzles, so everyone just liked making things more complicated than they had to be. Especially like that one puzzle where the chief, um, the sheriff, just like mixes up the pitches just because he felt like it, just to make our lives harder. Oh, we have created a weird loop. Oh, I think we've got it. There we are. You're the flesh round. You did it! You got rid of the horrible creature! Yep, we got rid of it using the flesh mounds. Yay! Woohoo! Our hero! And then they'd run in and slam the door. That's how they celebrate their hero. It's okay, it was a giant monster. It was just just like it was okay when we used those sea mines against that giant uh, Alaskan uh, bullworm. Okay, just need one more glowy. Okay, now where were we before we, um, oh, we were, we were looking at, uh, Milton over by the bee's nest, which he stirred up for some reason. Okay, so we've done these. Don't know what those are for yet. Oh, these rabbits, we can send them into the holes, maybe. Just keep clicking on them, maybe. Yep, there goes one. There goes another. <laughs> you commit a murder, and that time you whack the bees, Milton shows up and proceeds to make several creatures extinct in the name of getting home. There's animal cruelty everywhere. No, 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 no. Oh, they run back if I stop clicking on them. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Come on. Not really sure why we're chasing rabbits, but if there's a hole, it needs filling. Okay, and then we just get some sparklies out of this hole. Why? I don't know. I felt like this sign should probably have said something, but uh, but he's just dropping mustard gas in the rabbit holes next. Yes. Another sign there. We can't read it. Relic. Not sure what these relics do just yet. Ooh, sparkle. What about this? Oh. See a um sparkly in there. Oh, we open up this door, do we? Is that it for this uh greenhouse? Nothing more going on there? Okay. No wonder the duck didn't want part of this. <laughs> he was the smart one, yes. The duck knew that he would be next. Causing rabbits undue stress for no reason. Okay, how are we doing for Okay, we're still missing four. You guys aren't gonna open up the door. Can we do anything more with the... No, the colors have gone away over there. I see stuff under the water, but I can't seem to interact with it at this point. Because we've got these colors here. What are they for, though? to do with these doors, is it? Hang on. Distinguishes them from one another. What's the polluter lake key? Alright, we did pick up a key. We picked up the green key. Okay, green key. Are there any green locks around here? We got a red lock. What was the key in the previous world? Oh, 
for the sparkle. Wait, where's Milton? Let's, uh, let's... Make sure we got our eyes on Milton at all times. What's he doing over there? Forest Island sure is a beautiful place. I'd like to burn it down. Previous place at the green lock, did it? Okay, well maybe we'll head back there then. Oh, why did I leave that key? Still don't have. Okay, let's hit. Let's uh, let's. Where's our Stargate? There it is over there. Let's head back. Hang on, have we missed any rocks that we can flip up? No, it looks like we've got... That's the duck house, isn't it? Oh, quack attack. We just got an achievement. Maybe for opening it the third time? Maybe we can shut the door? No, we can't. Okay, through the Stargate. Where? Where did I put it? Oh, there. In we go. Uh, right, sorry. I forgot this wasn't a loading screen. Looks like we're going to a whirlpool next. Um, previous world, you say, had a, um... We still haven't got all the relics here, but maybe that's why. All right, hoping he's not going to come out. Um, yes, it did have a green key. There you are. You were right, on it. Oh, and there's some more relics. Oh, okay. I'm vaguely familiar with this puzzle. This looks like a. What's it called? It's not Towers of Hanoi. That. No, not like that. Uh, you go there. You go there. Uh, then you go there. Then two more goes there. That goes in the middle. This goes over there. I forget what we're trying to do, though. Okay, we've got... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we've got two here. Why are we doing any of this? Like, I don't know what the goal is. Like, we've got two there and two there. Maybe we make them even? We've got five and two. We'd need to pick one off each. That would make it... So four plus four plus four. Okay, yeah. Okay, how do we do that? No, oh, there we go, there we go. And we've got four. Then we put you in the middle. Move the four over there. And you over there. And now we've got three and five. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, Mad Ducks, how's it going? How's your weekend been? How's, uh, how's your Monday going? We're, uh... We're playing down in Bermuda. Uh, a quaint little uh, puzzle game where we seem to be uh, trying to kill every animal in existence while trying to get home after being trapped on an island alone by ourselves for 30 years. We got four. We managed to get four. We got three here. How do we get one off this five under there? No, that's not right. Okay, but we've got one there. 
move you over there. Move you over there. Oh, Ooh, that, that hit. Oh, okay, we're trying to hit these things. Is that what we're trying to do? Okay. Did not figure that out at all. So, we're, okay, we're now we're just trying to... Okay, if I do this... There we go. Liquid levers. Or levers. Uh, ah, and there we go. We got the relics. What are the relics for? We're still not sure. We got the achievement super sleuth. Uh, it's busy, busy, busy. So, like most other uh, games? Ah, yes. You mean killing the animals, yes. Uh, that's how you play games. Or or would, if, uh, if you play video games. Yeah, we did it. We solved it. Uh, is that all the collectibles on this? Um, that's not the right thing. I guess we have to go to the uh, Stargate. Figure out. Okay, so no more... Nothing else that needs unlocking? Guess not. Okay, back through the Stargate. Ooh. Yep, looks like we got everything there. Uh, what about on the original island? I think that was like a blue key that we need to do. Yeah, one key, one picture still. One lock. And, uh... Hmm. Okay, so... Didn't really help us out. Got more relics, but I'm not sure what the hell relics do. Okay, we're missing one relic. We've got one lock still to do, but we've got all the, the keys. So we just need to grab... Need to figure out where that relic is, I guess. I would down zoom them out. Okay, I guess maybe like back. Oh, where did all the lights go? Okay, little guy. Keep saying, where did you leave that key? Tell me where you left the key. But no, there's no more keys to grab, so that can't be right. That must be for a future thing. Hmm. Something in the water? Milton's over there, just standing around being a goofus. I want to be part of their world. That's where the spider came from. with these logs. Oh, there's a sparkle. There's one hidden there, okay. Uh, wait, where's the... sparkle thing there? How many do we need? Two more, okay. Just gotta keep our eyes out for more sparkles, I guess. And all the puzzle stuff over here is gone as well. It really annoys me that I can tell that this is a solution for something, but I, I don't know what or even if we can access that puzzle yet. What's going on in here? Oh, I see. Oh, God, that's really well hidden. I guess I could have seen it from there. Shout out if you see any more sparkles. We're on a sparkle hunt. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I'm not sure where that ugly black line is over there either. One more. Hang on, let's check the star map. That'll help. Oh my god, zoom out, please. Love of God. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, so it's just over here somewhere. There it is. We got it. Power it up. There, ah, here we go. Now we can do this. 
Okay, so purple faces this way. There we go. Uh, green faces other way. And yellow faces this way. And the orb. Ooh, we found it. Ooh, we found it. How about you? All right, next island. Forager. The environments seem kind of pointless. Like all the puzzles are just buttons and levers coming out of the ground. The forest is just there. Yeah. Yeah, it's um. Like I said, it uh, it's just kind of click on things to see what happens. There's not much rhyme or reason to anything that's happening. What is this place? Oh, there's the duck. Oh, it's you again. How did you get here? <gasps> Whack. Hmm. I may need to learn how to speak duck. Is this duck actually Agnes? Has she been turned into a duck after 30 years? Are we gonna have to marry this duck? <laughs> duck is here to take up the old man before the old man takes up the duck. That's also possible. The duck realized that it's better to have um, Milton within its line of sight than not. <laughs> if you don't know where Milton is, you don't know what he could be doing. Your time. Milton and Agnes. What's the next story? Oh, they had a kid. Oh, and a duck. <gasps> Is our child turned into a duck? Oh, I have a daughter. Things are coming back to me. I must find my way home. Is our daughter a duck? Also, this tree is just floating in the middle of nowhere. Like, it's not only just coming out of the uh, ocean, but like, it's not even like rooted the ground down there. It's just floating upright like that. Kind of ugly. And okay, we got some pirate ship going on over here. But I don't know what to do with it just yet. Hmm, it's got a hollow in the back. Right choice, indeed. Oh, we can spin this. What the fuck is that thing? Holy crap. What on earth? Okay. Oh, and a pirate over there? Something new to murder. Yes, exactly. Okay, let's talk to this weird seal creature. Oh dear, there's an old ship tangled in my seaweed farm. Would you be so kind as to help clear it for me? Um... I don't know. Let's, uh, let's leave you be for a little while, in case. Let's have a look see at this pirate over here. What's she doing? Oh, it's a skeleton. Ahoy, me hearties. Ha ha ha. 
I'm Bermuda Bill Bottomsworth, the most famous pirate in Bermuda. Listen here, bucko. I've not met a soul who can best owe Bermuda Bill. Think you have what it takes to find my hidden treasure? <laughs> I bet you can't find all my treasure. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Walking skeleton. You are not the weirdest thing we've seen today. You think it's an axolotl? It looks like a seal with like seaweed growing on it, I guess. Uh huh. Like an orange key. Uh, you thought the last stage had uh, an orange lot? Uh, no, I think we've... Hang on, we can check our inventory. We've got a yellow key and an orange key. Uh, sorry, yeah, a green key. Uh, we might have seen... Yeah, we, yeah, last stage, I think there was a red lock on the sheep farm. And then the very first stage has a blue lock still. Yeah, beginner's luck. The others won't be that easy. Oh, and there's the star map. Yep. I think we're, we've circled back to the beginning, so let's try moving around things in this seaweed farm. Actually, let's do this first. Well, that was traumatic. Nothing from the pirate guy? Okay. Can't do anything more there? Okay, Axel. Oh, hang on. We didn't check out this, uh, this thing. Okay, we can do that. Oh, we can move it like this. Okay. What do we want to shoot? That kind of must be for the walls. something we can do with this. Oh, we could bring it round the back here. Looking at this. And shoot the ship. There we go. Okay, why do we do that? I see like a... I see another... I see other crosses on the sides here. Maybe we should do more of this. Yeah. Okay, so wherever we see a cross, we should shoot it. There we go. We sunk it. Oh no! No! Uh, hang on, I've completely forgotten this. Oh no! Now there's a giant kraken. Please help. Okay, let's just shoot the fucking kraken. Okay, we can move this over to the windmill, I think, by hitting it like this. Oh yeah! Fuck you. It's just like a sliding puzzle. More violent. Damn. Oh, this is fun.
Come on. Can not get it done. That's lame. How am I supposed to move it now? Shooting it from there won't help, I don't think. Maybe it'll help. Okay. I guess not. And then maybe from up here? This is so violent. I love it. You guess this uh, cannon wasn't for the obvious bomb either. Oh, you mean like the the little? Oh, I mean it could be for them. Uh, I've, it seems to have multiple purposes. So let's focus on doing this squid first. progress from here. I think we want to go down. Get this. We want to go from here. No, that's way up. There. There we are. Now if we progress. Now, one final shot, she'll send him right into that whirlpool. Yeah! Oh yay! I can return to my seaweed palm. Thank you for making it safe. Whoa, that's with the style. Well, thank god that awful creature has left this, uh, Plane of existence. Another victim on the list. Yes, we did. We did kill that. Better find some orbs. Okay. Oh yeah. It definitely looks like we might be able to bomb some. Oh, that looks like a good bombing spot. Do a lot with this. Let's try. Hang on. Can we aim it like this? No. Oh, ha oh, that's interesting. We've got to get it facing around the right way. Like that, maybe? Looks good. Relic. Come on. Where's your next? How many do we have? Oh, we just need two more. Okay, that looks that looks good. Nice. Nothing in there? Okay, but we can shoot that. Now we're facing the wrong way. Also, we want to shoot the back of that. Hmm. How do we do this? Is it possible to turn ourselves around? Oh, this looks good. Shoot that thing. All right. Ooh, blue key. That's good. That's uh, that's the first world. Okay. 
Well, that looks shootable, but I'm not sure if we can do it while it's under water. Go back down. Oh, hang on. What are you doing? You look good. All right. I can't shoot this again. Even my parent could have found that one. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, now it's back. That's good. The music is Pirate Adventure Theme Park. Uh, so now we're going this way. Shoot this thing. Cannon blast. Got an achievement. And okay, now we can shoot through to hit that. Was there anything else that we needed to be facing this way around for? We haven't skipped anything, have we? Not that I can see. Just also what it looks like. Great job, game. I praise from Haddis. It sounds how it should. Oh. The last one. Oh yeah, Hammy's over there. I could get used to the pirate life. Keep calling him. I'm calling him Hammy now. Oh no, one more sparkle. Uh, so we need to go all the way back around, do another loop to loop. Uh, believe it or not, I wasn't watching when I described the music. Oh okay. Didn't know we were in a pirate themed level. Uh, so yep, back this one forwards, now straight shot. There we go. You scurvy landlubber, you'll never find them all. Seems like we found them all. Yar, a pirate knows when he's met his match. <laughs> you, we're gonna call him just about anything but Milton. Who's that? This is the a pirate skeleton that we found. He is a reward for a true swashbuckler like you, swashbuckler. A swashbuckler. I'm sorry, boy. Okay. Now we just need one final um, sparkle. Which we can just uh, consult the map for, I guess. Okay. Map time. Oh, there it is. Um, so it's above the... Uh... Where, where is... Where, oh, there it is. Right there, tiny. Okay, that should be it. Ooh, more shooties. Oh, a lot of more shooties. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> we're, we're back into gameplay. <laughs> I wonder why, when it was going to stop spinning. Okay, let's see. Where do we want to go? Whoop. Grab the game. That's what I wanted to grab. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Am I facing the right way? No, I'm not. I'm facing inwards. Okay. So that's not useful. Who even built these contraptions and why? I don't know. I think I think the game would just explain it as being, it's Bermuda, you know? Crazy stuff happens down there. That's still not the right way. Uh, and where's the other one? Over there. Just three? Just Bermuda things. Uh, let's go over this way. 
Okay. Okay. There we go. Why did we do that? Who knows? But it worked. Okay, clearly just clicking randomly is not going to work in this one. Let's time it right. There we go. Let's try, yeah. You wish real life didn't have any consequences for getting things wrong? Alright, let's skedaddle. Land lover is the achievement we just unlocked. If you are responsible for all the flesh piles that I had to gouge on my way down here that tend to call me vigorously, I'm gonna be upset with you. Very good. <laughs> okay, but first let's head back because we just got a key, blue key, which we saw a blue lock right on the very first island. Uh, there it is. Oh, an orange key. We just saw an orange key. Ah, the Serenity. On uh, the last place we were, right? Oh, let's just check. Oh, no, we have to check on the Stargate map. Oh, there were more commands, by the way. I've added added some more. If you uh, if you want to explore, there are more sound uh, commands now. Uh, yeah, on the stage we just were on, I think. Back to Shipwreck Island. End me. End my life. Um. Okay, where where is the lock? Uh, where do we see it? I don't recall. Oh, it was over here, wasn't it? Here. Oop. That's not it. I'm genuinely afraid of some of these commands. Here we go. Skull Mountain is the achievement. I think you put an L instead of an exclamation point. <laughs> oh, we, oh, we jumped in with our, our um, duck. Where are we going? Ooh, some relics. Okay, so we just did it to get some relics. Here be treasure is the achievement we unlock. Okay. On to the next level, I guess. I think. Um, if I can find the Stargate. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Of course, where we came in. But yeah, exclamation point is how you begin any of those commands. Not uh, L or I. Not sure what you did there, but... Uh, hang on, let's just check. 10 out of 10, 1, 1, 1. Okay, all good there. Let's check that first place. Oh, we're still missing a photograph, though. Interesting. Interesting. 
Harvor Island. You're just going to live with um, your failure? Fair enough, Leonic. It, it shows that you have humility, and we're all about humility here in the most humble community on Twitch. Goodness gracious me. I have a feeling stars are going to be hard to come by here, Quack. Oh, he's named the duck Quack now. Quack. Things are heating up around here. I guess because of all of the lava. Nobody's as humble as you? Ah, the most handsome, cute, and sexy, cool community. Yes. Well, that's how you are. That's how you become handsome, cute, and sexy, cool. Is by being humble. Humility first in all things. Quack. Leave your egos at the door, and just come be humble. Just come have a humble time. Oh, she said, oh, what is this? It looks like I'm gonna... I don't even know what to make of this. Yeah, it's sleeping. What are these guys doing? Unga, what is this rock that crash landed? So I'm gonna meteor? A gift from the skies. We must awaken the mighty god of fire. Yep, definitely not gonna... Unga Unga, fire god. Definitely not going to do uh, whatever accent they think that they um, were going for. It is foretold that one day our fire god will awaken. Yep, that's um, hmm. That's uh, interesting. Not, not super comfortable with the way they're portraying uh, the natives, but okay. Oh, found the star map already. Can we look out? They have spears? Yes. Yes, these ones look like they might be able to fight back. Give them a Lithuanian accent. Yes. Can't believe you guys think uh, you're the most humble. I don't think I need to say who's the most humble around here. Well, you know. I have been offered many most humble awards in my life, uh, but I've turned them all down naturally because I am too humble to accept such awards. Oh, and now our daughter. Oh, making some kind of jet engine with wood? We're using wood to. No wonder we crashed. Home. Oh, it's getting so much clearer now. We must be getting close. Really? Think so? I mean, we haven't even spent like two hours in this game yet, so... If you think we're getting close, uh... Seems a lot shorter than I realized it would be. Okay, let's try pulling this lever. Okay. Hang on, what's going on in there? Something going on back there? That's what the ladies tell you? <laughs> you mean that, uh, it's not as long as you thought it would be. Okay, yeah, those are symbols. Not sure which symbol we want. I'll pull that lever back up. Okay, it feels like we're gonna have to pour the lava on this guy down here. But how do we get the lava flowing? this game fast enough and you can refund it oh yeah i don't mind if they're short so long as they're satisfying yeah yeah i, I mean I, I think i bought this on sale although this is a relatively new game so it probably wasn't that cheap when i bought it on sale
Interesting. So we're looking for some kind of black and white patterns. Uh, seems to go down from 15 pounds to one pound 54 on sale. So it probably was cheap. Okay. Oh, red key, red key. Red key for me. More of these symbols. Still not sure which one's the right one. And also another seesaw. Oh, lever back there. Hello, little lever. Oh, hang on. Is that something? Could be something. Mm, it might not be something. Hard to tell. 15 pounds? They're out of their mind. Oh, here's the patterns. Okay. So... Okay, so it seems like that should be that one. Okay, over here should be that C shape with a circle. Uh, over there should be the L shape with a circle. Yeah. Whoop, and I've clicked off the game yet again. And then over here should be triangles. There we go. We've started something. Uh, many of these games, I think, uh, they are priced to make sale price look really good. Uh, this is a genre game I of game I like to call bundle filler, since it's on sale every month. Humble bundle game. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, that's definitely true. I, I really only look at a game if it's, like, at least 70% off. So, you know, overpricing it is a good way to make me actually, like, consider buying it when it's on sale. Because, you know, I'm kind of dumb like that. I only look at, like, really high percentages. And even then, I'm only really going to consider it, like, actually, if either, like, it's a really low price at 70%, or if, um, like, you know, if it's actually like 75% or more. Okay. And all these buttons. Ooh. Okay. Shooting lasers. Okay, and now we've got one, two, th Okay, next one is two black middle teeth. This one is one white tooth on the left. And finally, white tooth, black tooth, white tooth. There we go. And the other lasers. You're still waiting. Yeah, if it's not discounted, I'll wait. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what wish lists are for, basically. Uh, you're still waiting for Goat Sim 3 to go on sale? Yeah. Especially, you know, when, um, with, a. Uh, you know, people like me and Hattie, where, you know, we don't have the latest stuff. You know, there's no point in buying the latest game if we don't have the software to run it, so. There's still plenty of uh, great old games that are are likely to go on sale at any point. Ah, oh, what have we done? Quickly, stop the fire god before our huts burn down. Rawr. Who worked me from my slumber? I believe that's the, the voice of Fire God. Uh, don't some Steam games jack up the price sometimes during a sale, so you pay the same amount regardless? Uh, I mean, I'm sure some of them do. Uh, but, uh, you know, if it works, it works, I guess, you know. I'm not going to be that fussed if uh, they trick me into buying something like that. 
Uh, one of the few games you bought at over 10 a pound was Blades and Sorcery because it never seems to go on a deep sale. I really wanted to uh, chop people up. Ah, okay. Um, okay, what are we doing here? How do I? Okay, I'm just gonna keep clicking. Why is it going over there? Oh, hang on, those are sparkly. I'll grab the sparkly. Seems to have summoned minions. Uh, uh hello FBI. <laughs> uh, that doesn't happen 99% of the time as far as I can see. As I always look at the price history on Steam DB. I've seen some reviews say some games. I'm sure some do, but it, it's a pretty sleazy thing to do, and you probably get um more blow blowback than is uh worth it than what you don't make. So probably only like the most exploitative of um publishers would probably do that. And Big Hattie, you say, uh, Blade and Sorcery, you bought that at a regular price too. Because I wanted to play, uh, with the Quest, and I was impatient waiting for the Wi-Fi 6 router. Ah, okay. Okay. How do I get that middle one? Okay, middle one. Got one. Jump in! Jump to your watery deaths! Is this like a boss battle? Because it doesn't feel like much of a boss battle. Okay, four of them now. I'll just keep doing the middle. Because they all eventually jump in there. Sorry if that noise is getting annoying. Sing. Okay, yeah. Um, like, I think I've seen reviews say that GTA 5 has done it, but it's not quite something to keep up with. I wish you had the, uh, you wish you had the room to give it a go, uh, Super Doorman, but that requires cleaning, clearing up all your stuff. Now that, uh, you have the router, you just play regular PC VR games. Ah, okay. much of a boss battle. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. There we go. Is he dead yet? Yay! We killed another... Uh... Endangered animal. Unga Unga, you saved us. Now we shall worship you, all powerful one. Oh, good. No uh, let's see. Going back, going back. GTA. Throwing up all your stuff. Now that you have the router. Problem with blade and sorcery is I end up punching the walls and hitting tables. Yeah, it's dangerous. Even with safe zones and barriers, you can't get, get into the game even a little bit or you hit something. Uh, please do not worship Milton. <laughs> yes. Uh... There, there is no worse god than Milton. Okay, we've got one. That's interesting. Only one so far. But like we, we kind of solved a ton of puzzles to do that, but... 
iron. How many spark boots do we have? We're missing two still. That'll help. What's going on in here? What are you guys up to? You guys all sleeping or something? Yeah, it looks like you're sleeping. Well, they've had a busy day. I suppose it makes sense to sleep. Stepdad. Uh, Milton Jones down. <laughs> okay, uh, well, we're getting close to time, but let's have a quick look on our map to see where those last sparklies are. Hiding. What is this? I didn't even know there was an island there. Oh no, these are clouds. That's what I'm looking at. Where are the sparklies? Alright, oh, there's one under there. How do we get down there? Okay, there's one. And there's the other. So it's over on that heart. There it is. Under that heart. And then in that heart as well. They spent the last 10 minutes running in a circle. They're tired. Yes. Who draws clouds in a map? Oh, whoever took the um the picture that they they made this map out of. Oh yep, there we go. One last door. Who draws brown clouds? Well, I guess they're supposed to be like stormy clouds. They're all, all dark like this. Okay. Let's let's see if we can just quickly get into this thing down here. Hmm, there's something down there. Yes, but how do we get down there? It's like a, it's like something going on back there. Can we do something with this? Oh, there's like a hole. Why? One in there. Hmm, there's something down. Yeah, I know there's something down there. How do we get to it? See a relic as well. Something big to crash through it, maybe. Try clicking randomly. Yeah, you thought there were rocks in the water? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I see you. You mean like that. Yeah, no, but they're wobbling around, so I think they're supposed to be clouds. Yeah, they're kind of floating above it all. The world was moving and she's right there with it and she was. Um, let's see. Hmm. Something big to smash through it. It's sort of a seesaw thing. Yeah, you mean these things? Yeah, we've seen. I've seen them a couple times around this island. There's one here, and then there's one over on this island. And they feel like they should be clickable or interactable in some way, but they're not. They're just static for some reason. What about this log? Uh, these logs. Wait, what? Where did that come from? Did that come from in there or down there? Do I just have to get the right angle to click on these things? Is that all this is? No, it keeps saying there's something down there. Hmm. Nothing going on there. Join in the world of missing colors and she was. Yeah, just clicked a random relic through the map, I guess. Which is concerning, because it makes me wonder if that's what I'm supposed to do, or if I'm gonna break something. We've got these fire circle things around here as well. Torches, we've got waterfalls going on over here. Can we move these things still? We can. Is there something else to do? On. Oh well, I think we can call it a stream here. We'll, um, that was down in Bermuda. We'll come back to it uh, next Monday, I think. Uh, let's head on over to just chatting. Thank you, everyone who um showed up. Let's let's open up Firefox so we can see who's who we can raid. Um, oh, and Devil Bird is uh online. That's that's lovely. We'll um head over there in just a sec. Uh, that's not correct. I clicked the wrong goddamn thing. So allow me to 
refresh that. And I want control C, not control V. Okay. Uh, that is not e correct either. I want to do raid then, Devil Bird. Okay, so thank you everyone for showing up. It has been a wonderful, quiet, nice little uh, Monday stream. I hope you all have uh, wonderful weeks ahead of you. Um, and yeah, thank you to Leonic, Big Hattie, Super Doorman. You guys are just a treat. It's always a delight just to have you guys there. Mad Duck, thanks for showing up. Um, yeah, I think that's everyone. And yeah, on uh, Wednesday, we'll be playing more Agent A. I, I feel like we're past the halfway point, so we'll uh, probably get that finished on Wednesday. And then on Friday, um, we finished Dead Space last time, so I don't know if I've got anything specific planned, but I'll probably line up another horror game and continue the theme of Friday Fridays. That's a good. And then on Saturdays, we'll have more of the cringy visual novel. Um, what's it called? Campus Notes Forget Me Not. We'll uh, have a nice long um, read through of that. So yeah, thanks everyone again for showing up. I love you all. You're all my little humble bees. Uh, yes, Leonic, thank you for being the most humbled. Thank you, Super Doorman, for being the most humble. Thank you, Big Hattie, for being the most humble. Uh, and yes, I will see you all later. Bye. You think I'm underestimating your humbleness? Uh, I don't know.